Want to see the basics of the battle? Nah, I'm good. You know what? Fine, why not? For the sake of the video, right? I don't know if it's true or not, but let's start with the basics, since you claim you've never fought before. Tutorial. Basics of battle. First, place the cursor over the base panel and press the X button. Okay. Next, select the character you want to dispatch and press the X button. Why do we have a pretty name, Hand Grenade Lou? If you select the wrong character, place the cursor over that character and press the circle button. It will return the unit. Nah, Hand Grenade Lou. Which one should I dispatch? Well, all prinnies look alike, right? That's racist. Yeah, dude. That's racist, dude. Now, try to give orders to the character you dispatched. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'm great at ordering them around. So I'm not gonna do it every time, because she apparently, every other sentence is her doing the laugh. <laughs> uh, I've only got bad feelings about this, dude. First, select move to get closer to the enemy. Roger. Charge the enemy, Prinny. Oh, that's simple enough. Get on their All side. Right. After you move, select the attack command. This is all automated, so I don't even have to press anything. Huh? It didn't attack. Could it be? Is that Prinny disobeying my order? Why are your shoulders all rosy? Absolutely not, dude! That step was just to register an action. We'll execute the registered action next. Press the triangle button to bring up the menu and select either execute or end turn. Of course, for now. Select execute, correct? All right, here we go. Look at all that damage. We did 10. So this is how I can control my servants as freely as I want. That's right. Register action. Triangle. Execute. Remember this flow. But why can't you attack right away when you select attack? That's a great question. Because it takes strategy to pull off team attacks and combos. Tutorial. Team attacks and combos. You should have said the brackets. Teach you about team attacks and combos. All right, so let's, let's bring some dudes in. Show this off. All men are my servants. All right, so he's gonna go in for the attack, and you can see chain right there. So I'm guessing that shows the probability of a combo, and it executes. These are team attacks and combos. <laughs> Every fucking time she does it. And I will explode into a passionate team attacking combo. You're going a little too far with the love and passion. Don't stick anything weird in between the lines. When attacking, if an ally is next to you, it may trigger a team attack. Up to four people can join a team attack. A combo is triggered when you or your allies attack an enemy consecutively. The damage increases the longer the combo is. Performing team attacks and combos requires you to register actions. I see. Taking that into consideration, team attacks and combos wouldn't be possible if you attacked right away. When using multiple allies, actions will be executed in the order they were registered. As a beginner of battles, you should try to focus on creating combos and organize your moves accordingly. Well, time to leave. By the way, what happens when you select end turn? Do you have do you have no idea? You stupid broad. It switches to the enemy's turn. If you carelessly end your turn, it'll bite you back hard. Aha! Uh -huh. Press. Why did you press it? Ha! <laughs> 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 
Well, get fucked. The pain and anguish. Luckily, we can do counters. He can do a counter counter, though. Did that on purpose, right? Right? <laughs> of course not. Text got bigger. This is my very first time experiencing battle, so I was simply a bit overwhelmed. From now on, I should be more worried of you instead of the enemies. If your HP is reduced to zero, you won't be able to fight. You can recover at the Pocket Netherworld's hospital. My, so it doesn't mean that you die? Right, because we're demons. We don't die that easily. Only in cutscenes. However, if all dispatch characters are defeated, and you can't dispatch anymore, then it's game over. Alright, so I just have to make the printies charge, right? How did you process all that information and arrive at that result? Well, <laughs> anyway, if you open the menu with the triangle button and select help, you can check what I just taught you. If there's anything you aren't sure of, then you should use that as a reference during your fight. All right, sure. Let's get to the real battle. Let Sounds good. So... Pretty sure everybody got all that. It's basically a strategy RPG, so. Let's go! Let's jump in here. And show we'll do the same thing that, that was shown to us, which is we attack, and as you can see, uh we attack and chain rate says 99%, which I guess uh from what I can tell means that we will get a team attack 99% chance of it. So we'll just go ahead and keep attacking. Bambi the Fighter, because Lord knows that's a great name. We got Vic and Devin, though. I miss that printy that we had over earlier. Fucking Lou. That was a great name. Uh, we'll just have... Actually, she is a long-range player, so I believe she can reach... Uh, she can reach this, uh, Sunny the Fury Fatalist, which is the monk class. So we'll have you attack. And we have nothing else to do, so... Well, and you can also see in the top left uh, the attack entry. So it starts with Kilia, Serafina, then our maid uh, Francis. Let's go. Are you ready? Does our team attack? Team attacks look very stupid, as you can tell. And we didn't even need to go up with a follow-up attack. Enemy turn comes in. They deal their damage. Another thing to know is if you surround your enemy and continuously attack them, you can, in fact, the damage will get higher and higher. So, like, we, um, this person will attack, followed by this guy, and we'll execute to show it. There's a bunch of zeros and a five. This one goes to the second attack and does more. The damage gets multiplied, so. Ganging up on an enemy will lead to you doing more. Just like that, they're, they've been taken out. And I can go right here and attack Agent Jesse. And this should finish off the map. Just like that, stage clear. And we've won. Did well for your first time at this rate, you'll be used to this very soon. Something on the ground. What are those things? The spoils of battle. So we have stage bonuses. As you can see in the middle, there's a big word, the bonus, with the purple bat meter. It pretty much fills as we do stuff. The prize you earn for clearing a stage depend on how well you performed. During a battle, depending on the unit's actions, the bonus gate will fill. The more it fills, the more prizes we get. As seen here. So to fill it up, you can defeat enemies with combos. You should seek to attack an enemy consecutive with multiple allies. The more people fight with, the easier it is to charge. And there's a one-time bonus. This is a prize that will permanently be here until you pick it up. So, every stage has a unique thing that you can pick up. It is usually better than the other prizes. And until you get it, no worries. It'll be there waiting for you. Specifically, that's a scroll. I believe you can use that and it'll teach that ability to one character as a consumable. You check the bonus list from the menu to see all the bonus items you can get for the stage. There's a bonus you really want. You try your best to fill that gauge. Uh, obviously, there are exploits to getting to rank 9 in this, which is kind of stuff like, you need to get, like, 800 low, low, low attack point units. Have them attack, but also have people in the middle of the combo use heal on the enemy. 
so you end up having like 15 dudes attacking one enemy, and it fills the gauge up a super bunch. Like, there are ways to do that. I don't know how much of it I'll be doing, but it is fun. And we have an award ceremony. This is the MVP. Characters contributed the most to filling the bonus gauge reward here. They will get bonus experience and mana. Mana is a thing we will see a little bit later. And that's it. That's everything for the first stage. And we now have access to the recruiter. Recruiter's right there. Sorry, the preparation took a lot longer than I thought. A whole level. At the recruiter, you can recruit, recruit personnel that'll suit your requirements. If you feel understaffed, come to me. What great timing! Take a tour. You can never have too many servants. So, let's head on over there. I think I'm interested in getting some stuff. Thanks. So, let's recruit uh, personnel from other netherworlds who, re who meet your requirements. I cannot read today. What should I do to get new servants? You want to increase the number of characters, select the top option. You'll need money to recruit them, but I'll give you the first one for free. Boom. First, select the class you'd like. Yeah, but there isn't that much of a variety. If you haven't earned the trust of their class, they won't let you recruit them. Eventually, classes will support you if you solve the quests they submit, or if you get famous from fighting the Lost. Different character classes. First, the Warrior slash Valkyrie. Their duty is to fight on the front lines. Warriors use their endurance for close combat. Female, unlike the male, has high speed and specializes in hit and runs. She is also good with the bow. Next, Magician slash Witch. They use magic from a distance. If you use the magic the enemy is weak to, expect high damage. Magician has stronger magic, so he's useful in fighting strong enemies, although he burns through SP quicker. So don't use too much magic and run out of SP before the boss arrives. Which lacks magical power, but she uses SP more efficiently, so she can use magic non-stop. Some demons are ridiculously strong against physical attacks, so you'll want to use magic use in your power, in your party. Then we got monks. They punch. Mainly fight by taking the enemy's attack and countering. The males aim for strong counters. The females are speedy and evade attacks for a truly offensive style. Then we got the clergy cleric. The healers. Their combat abilities are weak as hell, but they have a key role in healing allies. I wouldn't want to fight in a party that doesn't have any healers. Males are in support magics like buffs. In addition to healing, they can cure ailments while they heal. Uh, they have strong healing abilities when fighting a strong enemy. This would be great help. Also, as they level up, they'll learn the all-inclusive curing spell, Espoir, which will be of great help. Ailments are basically cured by the use of the spell, that spell, or the item Fairy Dust. Next, the maid. Uh, specializes in items. Well, that explains what I was wondering. She can use items on top of doing other actions, so she serves many roles. Oh, so it looks like she can do an action and an item in the same turn. Using an item pretty much takes up your action with other characters. Also, she can use the attack item, throwing knife, and then attack after that. Lastly is the Prinny. Monster characters like Prinnies are different than humanoids. The biggest characteristic of monsters is they can use the magic change command to become a humanoid's weapon. The type of weapon they become through magic change depends on the monster's race to so make sure the weapon suits the ally. That's it for your introductions. I said a lot, but if you have a Magician, Witch, and Clergy Cleric, you're fine for now. Alright, so, I think first thing we should do is pick ourselves up, uh, I'd say a Magic user. I'm gonna go with these, because they're cute. Next, insert the name you'd like the recruited demon to have. Netherworlds are huge, so in canon, whatever you name these things means that there was one that existed with that name. Alright, I'll search for the name A, 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 and... Oh, there's actually quite a few of those. This is getting sad, dude. Alright, everybody. I did a cut because I kept backing in and out when I just realized there's a random name button in this. So we're gonna go random until I find a dumb name. So, Kathleen... 
Tyga, Alanis, Sharna, Rebecca, Hannah, Guinevere, Kula, Priscilla, Sabrina, Ellen, Wendy, Tracy, Tatori, Celeste, River, Christy, Maribel, Tamara, Tessa, Brittany, Aya, Liz, Alex, Dee Dee, Melanie, Monique, May, Lillian, Karina, Fresh Girl, yeah! <laughs> We're going with Fresh Girl. We're going Fresh Girl Infinite. We gotta go Fresh Girl Infinite on this. Yeah. An infinite freshness for our lives. So next we can select Capability. This is based on uh, the amount of hell that we have. But you can only select between good for nothing and incompetent. How cheap of you. So we have, um, we have good for nothing or incompetent. Uh, we would have been able to afford a skilled character, but they're making us go incompetent, so sure. Why not? I'll play by your rules. Next we can allocate the stats that we got from choosing, you know, their capability. The most incompetent fresh girl in the world. Uh, if the class prides themselves on strength, you can ask for one with even more strength. Maybe. Stand up. On the other hand, a low capability monster may have lower stats than usual. It all depends on the class. So, uh, we'll just give you an extra piece of intelligence. Next, you can select the level of the demon you're recruiting. You have to pay more hell for higher level increments. Yeah, can we get one of those? It is free. There is a limit where you can select. If you want to recruit a high level demon, you have to be equally strong. So if I want to hire a strong demon, I have to be stronger. So, this is something that was not in the original games and was a bitch. You would make a character and it would be level one. If you make a character here, it will be it will be whatever your best leveled character is at, which is amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and make it. When recruiting magicians or witches. You can select the element it specializes in. The element you choose will affect the magic it learns and its resistances. Uh, I believe we will go with a Ice Mage. So, select the personality of the demon you want to recruit. This will not affect their stats, so pick whatever you want. I want someone who's loyal, smart, efficient, works hard, doesn't complain, will work for free. That's impossible. So we got... So, is Fresh Girl Infinite an airhead, naive, or wicked red? I'm gonna say airhead. And finally, you can choose costumes. This also won't affect your stats, it's just for flavor. Oh! <laughs> uh, let's see. Do we go goth? I think we'll go goth, why not? And, uh, this will be free, so we can just go ahead and do it. Fresh Girl Infinity! Because I just realized Infinite doesn't sound as cool, but Fresh Girl Infinity, the air-headed ice mage. Sounds great. The maintenance on the Dimension Gate has just finished. Oh, apparently we couldn't have done anything earlier. That's cool. Before you go into battle, make sure you don't forget to equip the recruit first. Don't fuck them over. They're your friend. So we can actually hire an additional character. So, I'm thinking about it. I feel like we should have another character in the wings here. And what do I want? Uh, I don't necessarily want a warrior because I'm going to have a swordsman already. Martial arts look cool because they have no pupils. Hmm. But do I want a healer? That is a tough tough order this game's given me. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get... I think we're gonna go ahead and get a cleric. So, let's start rotating names. Michaela, Natasha, Gabby, Joan, Whitney, Shireen, Gabriel. Let's see... Cheerleader! Uh... Cheerleader Double Star. Nah. Uh, as funny as that name sounds, let's, let's come up with a different one here. I'm not feeling cheerleaders. There's gotta be something else I can get here. Queen Luxuria! 
Queen Luxuria, but I need you to be even more luxurious. I'm going to make you Queen Luxuria... Uh, Queen Luxuria... The 22nd. You know what? Queen Luxuria Double X. The 20th. That, that, that works for me. I'll also put a musical note at the end because it looks stupid. Uh, let's go ahead and confirm that. Uh, let's go ahead and make her skilled. We have the money for it. Alright, so what, uh, what, 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 what does she partake in? She partakes in having... Um, I want her to have good hit, because she's going to be using a bow on my team. So, let's go ahead and give her three points to hit. And she's also going to be healing when she can, so let's put that into SP. Bring her to level two. So we have open-minded, saintly, or the one we're picking, pregnant with a heart. She's just going to be permanently pregnant. The perma-pregnant queen luxuria, the 20th music sign. Uh, we will go with pink hair. Why not? Uh, with that being said, we are going to dismiss some characters here. Uh, I do not care for the maid. I do not care for Devin or Vic. So we're just going to let him go. But don't worry, we do this humanely. Don't ask about the pain to noise and the gunshot. They are all doing fine. No, dude. No, dude. See, they're fine. They said dude after they've been shot, allegedly. Some may say, hey, why don't you like them? I just, I'm not a fan of the default characters they give you in the game. I like connecting with the characters that I make. So, it's like... Nah, I'm cool with what we got here. So we got... We, we basically have Kilia and his harem. Of Seraphina, Fresh Girl Infinity, and Queen Luxuria the 20th. And they shall journey throughout the land, defeating the lost. Uh, but obviously, let's see, uh... Let's look at equipment. So, obviously a mage is gonna want to use a staff. They have a, uh, B weapon mastery. And, uh, clerics, they have a B weapon mastery in... In a, in a staff, but also a bow. So we're gonna buy a bow and a staff Welcome. at the equipment shop. And whatever extra armor we can afford. So bow, we'll pick up a toy bow. Do not point at others when using. I'm going to, though. And a staff. Cute wand. Well, at least it's cute. And get some armor. We will buy uh, four pot lids. Just, uh, just a little bit to start us off, you know? And, uh, let's just go ahead and give you your stuff. Just kind of want to make it so they don't get completely destroyed. Uh, we also picked up multiple water pistols, it looks like. Uh, let me see. What is a uh, water pistol compared to? Uh, not that good. We can also sell these pieces of equipment where they're not using. So let's go ahead and do that. What a, now, it turns out we have a bunch of items. We have mint gum for HP. We got SP unopened sodas. We got sardine. Ingredients consist of one sardine. Fairy dust cures ailments of all those types. Throwing knives, which, uh... Not too powerful, so... I think I'll throw these away because I'm not using a maid. Uh, paw clubs, don't need those, because we have a monster, and selling these three weapons. Uh, with that being said, I think, uh, I think we're about ready to go here. Let's, uh, let's do a save, obviously. Let's, uh, I believe I have, I already have a save from when I was doing, uh, some testing for this game. And the testing was pretty much like, do I remember how to play, play Disgaea? And I don't, but we're gonna do it anyway. So, we have saved up, and I think... Is quests open yet? Alright, they are not ready yet, but that is also going to be pretty important. Let's do another level. Alright, blood part. Shriveled vein. Enter the stage. I was getting tired of waiting. You lost bastards! Is this... What even are you? You got an X chest hair symbol. Lost. No, we're... 
So, have you come to take the head of me, the Overlord of Bloodpart, Logan? Logan? You overwhelmed me with numbers in the previous battle, but it's not gonna be that easy for you this time. Okay. Even though I've gotten long in the tooth and I'm wounded all over, I was once the fear throwing overlord, and I'm still shot. Like I know, you know, first game was like, yo, there's one overlord. Then they got to this point where it's like we go from I'm the overlord of the entire netherworld to I'm the overlord of throwing shit. Lift and throw! Lift and throw! Lift and then throw! Well, at least I know what the tutorial's gonna be. <laughs> well, how is that? I've reached my limit, brother. He's out of breath before the battle even starts. He also has a whole like Hogan this is voice. A big misunderstanding, but I doubt he's gonna let us leave without a fight. Hum, yum, 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 yum. Oh, Sir Kilia, you're eating again? Acting so casual before fighting an overlord. Now that is my Sir Kilia for you. This is a great opportunity. I'll teach you all about lifting and throwing. If only we could ask the overlord of throwing. 